Greetings, Fencers. So now we're at the 10th student, along with his counter. I'm gonna be right up front with you guys. I've never done this. I've never grabbed someone by the back and kneed them in the groin. I've done front kicks to stomach and pelvis, but if you want to learn how to knee from the clinch, you go practice at a Muay Thai gym and get the best instruction there. So because of that, I'm not going to teach even a little bit. I'm just going to show the play and details of the text. Fiore says, this student strikes his opponent with a knee to the groin to gain advantage in order to throw him to the ground. So Fiore doesn't expect this to be a one-hit wonder. It's just to occupy, hurt, distract so we can more easily throw them. So we're clinched at the body and we pull them in and knee to the groin. I'm assuming it could be done with either knee and you could also target other places if the clinch is different. And then afterwards we move to our throws. If you get skilled with this, why not do it in clinches with longsword as well, or long knives? And if both arms are occupied, why not use another limb? We're then given a counter. Seize his right leg under the knee with your right hand and throw him to the ground. From our quick testing, we learned knees are fast, untelegraphed, and importantly in the clinch, they are hard to see coming. Now in some context, you are able to grab it. I would assume it's because you were looking down already. Then hold the knee to our stomach and push high with the other arm, like what we see in other plays. One day in the future, after I've practiced more martial arts, I hope to have skill in more of these unarmed strikes. Thanks for watching, keep studying, keep practicing. Oh.